So it's been a good day for you so far. Yeah. You got to see the man <laughs> himself, Art. <laughs> yep. Did, uh, I did th like three and a half miles, and I did like a mile of sprints and hills and stuff. How'd the ankle hold up? Good. Sweet. Okay. Um, it sounds like you're, you're picking up your pace a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, running at a faster pace and picking up the miles too, so. Uh, so Keith, you just started the FSP program. Uh, it's a functional strength program, it's 12 weeks long, and you're coming in twice a week and you're gonna be working uh, multiple body parts. You've had elbow, wrist, ankle, low back, mm -hmm. um, and we've kind of put a, put a dampening on all of those areas that have, have popped up along the way, right? Yep. Um, from a pain standpoint, you're moving a little bit better in the ankle for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it showed on the screen too that, that we did the movement screen. Uh, so now recently you've had a little bit of irritation. You've done a lot of dumbbell lifting mm -hmm. uh, and irritation to what's called uh, the terminology that they'll use for this type of problem is Quervain syndrome. And it, so the extensor muscles that help lift your thumb here take a lot of stress in this region when you lift heavy things, just in general. That's, they're designed to withstand it, but sometimes there's irritation that can occur. It's a common problem to have in the wrist. So recently we've started doing dry needling on the muscle belly, as well as that irritated tendon. And then I'll follow up from time to time to do ART and soft tissue work on this area too, right? Um, how, how has it progressed so far overall? It's gotten better since we did a little bit of the laser. The laser helped out. The, the dry needle, so. Okay. Um, it's definitely getting better. I noticed I can do uh, some wrist curls now with lighter weights and I couldn't do that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, usually a problem that I think that uh, that resolves with rest in eight to 12 weeks, and overall, right, the full circle of it. Uh, but when you start to add in things like laser and dry needling, and you get this tissue worked, uh, one, it helps with the pain a lot faster, but it also improves just the overall condition of that tissue, right? Not just saying, okay, let the pain go away. Let's, let's work on this problem, why it even showed up in the first place, right? Um, I think that's really important. So relax, let your head fall back. I'm just gonna go ahead and work the carpals. So there's an extensor retinaculum that sits here and I'm just going to be doing some uh, passes across uh, that retinaculum with my thumb, working on the range of motion of that wrist as well as that tissue tension. And he'll feel some pops and cracks when I do this. This is, feels great. Yeah, definitely heard a couple pops. <laughs> <laughs> just a few. And then what I want you to do is give me a thumbs up, but bring your hand back into this position. Good, and then I want you to take a thumb down and curl your thumb, yep, make a fist around it and roll down and roll away. Good, just like that. And you'll feel pressure occur over, occur over the top of this thumb area. Go ahead and relax, let me do the rest for you. Good, and then come back up. Good, thumb down, wrist here, good. Roll down, and more so flexion here. Let it come down, let it gouge you. There, good. Repeat. Good, Leo. So I'm working right over here. I'm going to come around this way next. Get a little look at it. Good, wrist back. Thumb up. Good. Here, here, down. Pressure right there. Okay. Good, wrist all back. Here, good, hold, hand down, just hold down like you're in a jump shot, good. Good, relax. Good, loose. similar problem he's had in the past. It's resolved, but I'm staying on top of it, especially now that we're working out and doing a little bit more full functional training. Uh, just some irritation to this flexor group. Dumbbells are great exercise tools, right? And when we put two in our hand, we can get a, a pretty heavy weight going on because we have the other weight to counterbalance it, to throw it up, to pull it, to press it, whatever we're doing with it. 
So sometimes when we get heavy and get after it a little bit, these tendons here can get a little irritated because they're handling a little bit more stress than they're used to handling on their own. Oops. Open. Good. Now relax. Now open up your palm. Good. Close. And relax. That's good. Relax here. So you can kind of see with these type of problems, I'm not just treating that muscle and the tendon and the soft tissue structures, but I want to address the joint restrictions, address the whole system basically, right? All the mechanical moving parts. That's good. A little tension here, okay? Let your head fall back. You're gonna feel pressure and a release like that, okay? okay. Keep it loose. Good. Better. Keep it loose. There it is. Alright, let's get you back. I'm gonna take a look at your shoulders and your neck, okay, Keith? Mm -hmm. I'm just assessing his internal, external rotation in the shoulder. I'm blocking this glenohumeral joint and I'm feeling side to side how he compares. He's a little tender, tense in this left pec. Just gonna work on some of that with some PIR. Lift your elbow up into my hand and relax. So a little more firmly lift up, just the elbow, good. See how your hand's coming up first? Try to just pull the elbow straight up. There, good, hold. And relax, get loose. Loose. Straight elbow up, push, that's it, hold, and relax. Good. There we go, good. Elbow up, nice, hold, just elbow, just elbow, there, hold, and relax. Get a little tender in here. Yeah, I can feel the tender. It's a little trigger point, so a tight muscle like that will won't respond as much, won't respond as and do its job. And cross friction can really help loosen that, that trigger point up. Relax that muscle, get it back to a good resting tone. A little uncomfortable during it, but it helps out in the long run. Okay. Relax. Good, press up, hold. Hold, good. And relax. Better. Relax. Right. Hands on your stomach for me. Nice. And relax everything here. pressure here and let it all fall. Good. Now turn your head towards me. Good. And relax. Easy. Good. So we're just going to treat that up with the thoracic spine. When you're ready, switch over onto your stomach for me. So it's been a good day for you so far. Yeah. You got to see the man. <laughs> Himself, Art, Arturo, yep. our massage therapist that works here under our license. He's awesome. He does, does an amazing job with, with patients. Um, and people come back specifically for him too. So you saw him for an hour this morning. Yep. Now you're getting a, uh, you know, a, a problem focused adjustment and soft tissue work on some of those areas. Breathe in. Exhale, easy, loose. Here's pressure, let it all relax. Get a little more loose. Good. Breathe in. Let your shoulder blades drop, let your hands touch the carpet. There you go. Good. 
more here. Let it fall. Good. Relax. Good. Breathe. Exhale. Last one, come on your side, face me. Let's get these out. Good. So when I when I met you at first, Keith, you were you were weren't a runner, were you? I just started trying to run and I started having problems, problems. with my lower back and yeah, so I hadn't really been that much into it. But now you're you're like you're taking on some some longer distances, you're having yeah. fun with it. Yep. Been, it's been cool to see you get a passion that, that you didn't think that you would ever really do or fall into. Right. And now you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun when I get out there. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. I do other stuff too, tire flips, all kind of tracks. Strength training, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, breathe in. Exhale, easy pressure. Bigger stretch here, okay? Good. Now let this shoulder drop. We're going to feel a drop from me. Loose. Get a little more. Let that go. There it is. Point back. Good. All right. All done. You're all set, brother. Thank you, man. You're welcome. I'll be in tomorrow for my day two. Let's go. Hey, thanks for watching. If you got any questions about the FSP program or art, uh, post it below. Uh, if you like what we're doing, you can subscribe and check out our channel for future videos.